I'm Luke with Rhino Carbon Fiber. Today we're going to show you how to install a corner wall strap kit. What we're going to do is we're going to reinforce the corner of this structure. A lot of structures have a beam that pocket right over top of the corners and they tend to crack. This particular one we're just going to reinforce because it's had an addition put on. But we're going to reinforce this by tying our five and a half inch carbon fiber back both sides of the, the corner. What we've done to prep it is we've scarified the wall and we've removed any paint. If the wall was clean with no paint on it, you would still lightly scarify it. Then make sure you get into the aggregate, which you can see into the wall. The bond it back farther into the block so it gives it a stronger bond. We've taped off the bottom so the epoxy doesn't run too far on it. Taped off the floor and repaired that. We've pre-cut our carbon fiber and we're going to start applying our epoxy and our carbon fiber over top of it to show you how easy it is to do. So what we've done here is we've gotten ahead and applied our top, top piece. I'm getting ready to apply the middle piece. You can see I've already got the epoxy on it. You want to make sure you tape off well because you can see that it does run a little bit. Um, I recommend when you're holding the carbon fiber, if you're doing it by yourself, you kind of prep it to where you're going to be able to control it as you put it on the wall and go with whatever direction is the easiest for you. We spread the epoxy out here. Um, we just go back and forth motion and put, put it on the wall. And then when we put the carbon fiber on the wall, it really cleans up the epoxy and spreads it out because you're going to use one hand, put the carbon fiber up. And the secret is I only use one hand so you can keep one hand dry. So you're not getting epoxy on everything you touch. And just literally lay it right in the epoxy. And we're going to come back over top of it with another layer of epoxy. And completely wet out the carbon fiber. And make sure you got all the slack out of it. You don't want any creases, any bends. You want all the strands to be perfectly straight. Now I'm going to change my gloves and I'm going to put another layer of epoxy over it. And I'm literally going to smooth it out with my hand just like you just saw me do. And I'm going to move to my bottom strap. So when you're laying out your repair, you want to make sure that you space these no more than 18 inches of, of, apart so that you make sure you strap the corner wall. Just like if it's a bowed wall, if there was a crack here or here, you would want to take and clean that crack out and put, put a hydraulic cement in it or mortar. Make sure it has something solid in it. Make sure there's no caulking in the wall. And you would grind that down just like you did the, these sections like we did here. When you're grinding, you don't necessarily have to get every bit of paint out of the mortar joint. Kind of act like the mortar joints don't, don't, uh, don't exist and just make sure you're in the aggregate of the block so you can actually see the stones inside the block. Here we are finished with our corner wall repair. We've uh, applied our carbon fiber, we've got our epoxy on, we're waiting for it to dry. Um, as you can see, prep is very important. We, uh, we cover the bottom really well. The middle here, we'll touch that up with some paint here uh, uh, after we're done. Yeah, everything paints really, really easy and nice. If we were to have a bowed wall, a lot of times these corners go into a wall that's bowing, we would have just started our corner straps or our, our regular carbon fiber wall supports four foot off of this corner and right overlapped right over top of them. Just pretended like they weren't there when we did them and went into the regular wall strap system. Uh, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you prep it pro properly. You always want to make sure you fill any cracks, any voids with something hard, not a caulking. If there's any caulking in there, you need to remove it. You want to, when you grind, you want to make sure you get down to the aggregate in the block, which if it's a new clean block, usually it's just a very, very light grinding on it. Depending on the wall paint, this was a thick paint, so it took a little bit more grinding. Uh, you want to make sure that you're as clean as possible and you prep the floor. I suggest once you prep the area, you just go ahead after you're done and let everything sit for an hour or two, then come back and pick it up. Let the epoxy harden. It's just easier that way you don't end up getting on anything.